Let's look at a very handy formatting template for SharePoint. This is for formatting dates. Date fields show up in just about every SharePoint list and library. The problem is that the out of the box date field is pretty boring to look at. It will show either just a date or the time and there isn't really any variation in terms of how that looks. And so we want to do something to make that look a little bit more interesting. You see some other date formatting templates that are conditional based on whether something's overdue and then you see the date box in these. We're going to be doing our formatting on this middle column I created called formatted date. Now there are two aspects to the formatting. One is the look and feel. I might want to make the uh, size of the text a bit bigger. I can do things like have a border or a background color for that. The other has to do with the actual content. Maybe I want to show just the month and day. Maybe I want to spell out the month like that. There's many different options. You just need to go under format options and select which of those you want. So I'd recommend you do that first. And then depending on your locality, in some countries you have uh, month then day and some you have day then month. You have options on this list to account for that. So pick your format option first and then you can um, you know, make other adjustments as well. The separator value um, is used in the cases where uh, you've got something like this. If you want to have for example, a dash, um, you could do that instead. So you've got multiple options there. And then as I say, you can do things like adjust the text color or the border color um, according to your preferences just by um, adjusting the different configuration options. So once that all looks the way that you want, you simply can copy the template by clicking the button follow the directions in the pop-up window, then click OK. In SharePoint, you will go to your column header, then column settings, and then finally format this column, and then advanced mode and paste. And once you paste that in there, you're going to see that. And this looks funny because I've used large text and I need to stretch out the width. So what you typically will do is make adjustments to that. So after you do that initial paste, what I'd recommend is you tweak that until it looks how you want. So I'd say, whoop, that's really big. I want to adjust that down. So I'm going to adjust that size on here and then I can just copy again, click OK, and then just replace that code by pasting in and hit save again. And now I've got something that's going to fit in there a little bit better and that's all there is to it. So you can do all kinds of different date formatting. So, you know, you want to set this up in the way that's user friendly um, for your users and really just want to show them the thing that they care most about. You don't want to have a lot of, you know, extra extraneous data. So if you really just want to deal with the current dates for this year, you could use something like this and, um, just provide a simpler, cleaner view for your users. So however it is you want to format your dates, you should have the ability to set that up however you want using this template. And um, there's really not much to it. You can apply that to any date field. You can, in fact, apply that to the existing date fields that are already in every SharePoint list, which are the created and modified columns. So this is the date forwarding date formatting template at SharePointDashboards.com. This is a pro template, part of the subscription package. If you are new to SharePoint Dashboards, you can come and get your free account, which does include 20 free templates, which you can use, um, which will help you get familiar with this tool set. And then you can go on and explore some of the other options. So when it comes to setting up dates in SharePoint, hopefully you can use this template to help things look nice. Good luck.